Now, judgment has been reserved, but does Mahashule have a watertight case here, or is this just pure politics? Political analyst Professor Setelokho Matabesi from the University of Free State joins me now. Very good evening to you. Maybe you can answer that question. Does he have a case, or is it purely a political move here? Hi, Jane. Good evening, and good evening uh, to your viewers. I often say I'm a sociologist, but... Uh, Sociologists do look at issues of this nature, and it's going to be very difficult now to discuss the merits of the case. But in such cases, the ANC as an organization has the right to discipline each and every member that voluntarily joins the organization. And I think that is a starting point. And, and obviously, Ace Mahashude and his legal team were now argue and have been arguing uh, about the constitutionality of the decision that the ANC has taken. And it all depends on which camp, which side of the fence you're sitting, uh, because that's the nature of politics. And I've seen people always argue or put advance their argument based on uh, their allegiance. Uh, alliance to certain leaders, and this is not an issue yet. The issue is, for me as a layman in South Africa, that Ace Mahashude has been part of the elective conference of the African National Congress. Ace Mahashude has been a member in good standing since the beginning of this year, when the so-called step-aside rule of the ANC has been, decided, uh, uh, been discussed. The question is, if this has landed on somebody else, I don't think Ace Mahashule would have had a voice. He would not have taken the ANC anyway. But the problem is he is a so-called untouchable within the African National Congress. And that's where the problem lies. Do you think that's why he took it to court? Do you think that he thought he'd be better protected there? Yes, no, obviously. Uh, I mean, if you look at some of the arguments, is that he had exhausted all avenues within the African National Congress. But now what was very shocking for me was some of the arguments even coming from people who are supporting uh, the Secretary General of the African National Congress to say, but even within the ANC meetings, those who are in the minority when they raise issues, they are being ignored. But this was the status quo when dominant faction in the African National Congress, the previous dominant faction, led by president, the former president, Jacob Zuma. How many times... Uh, sit, sit not, was he not pressurized? No, we, we, we just lost you there for a minute. Uh, let me just pick up on something that uh, you were talking about, those close to him. Uh, we have been hearing that those who are close to him, some anyway, advise him not to go to the courts. I mean, what would be better for the ANC? Would it be better for them to deal with it, suspend him, and then at least he's out of the picture from that other camp, from the Cyril Ramaphosa camp, when it comes to the elections? Well, the ANC needs to do the right thing. I don't think it even has to be about Aishma Hashude. An elective conference decision has been taken. It has to be implemented. I think it will be good for the African National Congress. They started this. And, and one thing which comes to the, uh, in good stead for the African National Congress as an organization is that they gave members 30 days to decide about that. I think within those 30 days, many all these other members who are implicated had an opportunity to engage with the party. Now, it's good for that, but it's going to be very difficult for the party. But we've seen many times when the African National Congress is in a corner, uh, their election uh, machinery will come to the fore. I can't see the ANC now losing many municipalities just because of the Isma Hashule versus the ANC case. Definitely not, because to win elections is not making noise on, 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 on the social media. And it's not about how do you win uh, certain debates. It's about going out there and convincing South Africans. And I think all these other these kind of factors will come to a play uh, during the local government elections. But these issues 
do dent uh, the image of the African National Court. Mm. We were told that there weren't many supporters outside the court because of concerns about spreading the virus. I mean, do you think this is rather more indicative of the lack of support that the Secretary General has at the moment? Clearly, he'd want a lot more in order to push his agenda. Yeah, well, I, I will not subscribe that, ascribe that to lack of support. I think with the Jacob Zuma case in Port Elizabeth also going on, and we had two uh, uh, previous appearances here in Bloemfontein already by Ace Mahashule, I think there's a very fatigue uh, against members and also the fear, yes, definitely of, of, of that. But some people, I think they've also key other leaders who have been sympathetic with the Secretary General. Remember, this is politics, and the nature of politics is like a rainbow. When you lift your head again, that rainbow could be gone, and that's the nature of politics. So I think some leaders perhaps are threatening to uh, a bit cautious uh, and, and not uh, publicly wanting to be seen to be supporting the Secretary General, but this is definitely not indicative of the support that he has. Okay, you were saying that the ANC obviously needs to deal with this correctly in order to clean up its image somewhat. I mean, where does this all leave Cyril Ramaphosa? I mean, Ace Mahashula said that it wasn't in retaliation. But how is he playing this? What, what would he like to see come out of this? No, obviously, uh, I think for the person, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, you will definitely uh, see a situation where the court nullifies, uh, you know, Mahashule's case. And that will be a huge a bold star for the African National Congress, for the Cyril, Rama, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa can to say, now we can go forward. And I think that will also give them some ground. Uh, because remember, the ANC currently is at work. Uh, branches are preparing for the local government elections. And the people that will be elected, even in some uh, provincial elective conferences uh, or in provincial structures like what uh, needs to happen here in the free state, the provinces at the end of the day determines who becomes the next president of the African National Congress. And I think there is work behind the scenes to try and uh, consolidate uh, the support of the, the current uh, sitting president of the African National Congress while uh, the Secretary General is fighting this current case and remember he's still facing another case and yet to prepare for that battle in a few months time again. Mm, clearly far from gone. Thank you very much for your time.